Yeah, y'all. Um, after I had that conversation, and I told her, I said, this is why I asked you several times, did you like it so we wouldn't have to go through this? And then she says, oh, yeah, you did. I'm sorry. Make it make sense. Because it ain't. It ain't. Welcome back to the Candy's Hair Diary. Um, today, y'all, this video is going to be a little different. It's going to be story time. Um, excuse me, y'all, for looking a little raggedy. But I'm going to be taking my hair down. Oh. At the same time, while telling y'all this story. Um, so these are the crochet poetry locks that I've had in. Um, for almost a month now and now it's time to take them down um but anyway y'all let's get into this this good old story time so y'all I had a client that said she did not like her hair and mind you there were definitely some red flags when I got to her house now what I do y'all is I'm a mobile stylist so I go to people's houses and I do their hair um have I been in a salon yes I worked in a couple of salons and I was just over it you know salons a lot of the times are like revolving doors and I was just over it and plus I wanted to keep out my money to my Self. Um, so, um, I've been doing mobile styling for years now. Um, it just works better for me. Plus, I like being able to get out and not be stuck in one place. But that's a whole nother story time. Anyway, y'all. So, this lady contacted me about some knotless braids. Um, I did not know her and she was not referred to me by anyone and generally when I say clients I base my clientele mainly off of referrals um just because I mean it is some crazy out here let's just be real um and I don't do a lot of advertising like because I'm only one person and it was at a point where I was getting so swamped I couldn't keep up with the amount of people wanting me to come do their hair so that was another reason I'm like I'm one person showing people would ask me oh you don't have somebody to come out if you can't come out and I'm like I don't I'm sorry um but I this lady said she found me off the neighborhood app which I don't even know how she found it because I didn't even know people was saying that they you know, um, I have an idea who she might have saw because she's an older lady and she puts stuff like that all on the neighborhood app. But um, so she was like, yeah, I want these braids, I want some knotless braids. So I told her, send me a pic reference because I always, always tell people to send me a pic reference when doing any type of different styling. So she sends me a pic reference and I'm like, okay, cool, gotcha. So then y'all, I get to her house and because I don't know who she is, I always send my husband my location and tell him usually about the time that I should be done, um, just in case. Um, and I have my location on so he could see where I'm at or whatever, whatever. So I get to this house, lady seemed nice. She was, I think she's in like her mid 40s, she said. Um, she been here, I think maybe for like, I think she's had a few years. Um, but anyways, I get in her house and red flag number one is, she showed me a YouTube video and she was like, I want it exactly like that. Now I always tell people, I can't do exactly like whatever this person is doing because I'm not that person. But you saw pictures of my work, so you know. Um, so she was like, yeah, she was like, I want it like this. And she was like, this is how the knotless braids are. And I was like, yeah, yeah, 
let's what you call out this friends so um she was like um and this is exactly how i want it so i was like okay when she said that i should have known anyways so um we get started and i do the very bottom row and generally uh, when i have new new clients like that who don't know me too well i always tell them i do like a couple braids and i say hey go take a look at it look in the mirror you tell me yay no you like it you don't like it you want me to change something that way before we get to the very end everything will be just like how you want it so she goes upstairs and goes to the bathroom and she looks at it and she said um she's like yeah i want like a little bit bigger and i said okay no problem so we do them a little bit bigger and then um i did like did those over and i did a few more and i said go ahead go back to the bathroom look at it let me know if this is what you're looking for or you want something different so she goes back up and she says yeah yeah that's fine that's that's good so i said okay so we're going, we're talking, you know, regular conversation. And then red flag number two, she said, yeah, last time I had like regular um, braids and she was like, I hated it. She was like, they were so heavy. They weighed my hair down and I took them out like within a, a few days. And I was like, oh yeah, I said, yeah, box braids, you know, regular box braids, depending on how many you get, you know, they can be relatively heavy and how long you want them. And she was like, yeah, she was like, yeah, I just, I just say, but you're so heavy. So I was like, oh, okay, yeah, red flag number two. And that was red flag number two, yeah. So I'm doing, um, doing her hair, we're going on, and we get to about, probably about, like, right here in this area, yeah. And she's like, um, and she went to the bathroom. She took another bathroom break. And she was like, can we make them a little bit bigger like can you like add a little bit more hair and i was thinking if i add any more hair these are going to become regular box braids and you want me to add regular hair when the parts are small like we were doing medium size i only offer medium size and large size so we were doing like medium size braids y'all and I will show y'all a picture of what my work, there, there will be a picture and a video of what my work looks like. Um, so I'm like, mm, okay, you want me to add in more hair and I'm gonna do whatever you want me to tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm tell you. However you want me to do it, okay? So I'm adding in more hair. And then we're doing her hair, we're doing her hair. And then we get up to like right here and she turns around and she's like oh yeah we've got some more hair she's like hey can you add it in like i want it to be more fuller and i was thinking lady these are knotless braids knotless braids i don't know if she understands the concept of knotless but they're not going to be looking like traditional braids. And then you just told me the other braids that you took down were heavy. These are going to be heavy, just like what you complained that you didn't like. So whatever, you're the customer. I'm going to do whatever you tell me to do. So I add in more hair, y'all. So in the towards the end of me almost finishing, I'm finishing up, whatever. And then there was this there was this white guy that came in and he came through the garage so I saw him he looked and he started talking to her but she shushed him like shh and this is red flag number three she was like shh he was, it was like he was trying to tell her something but she didn't want to hear it and then all of a sudden there was like a complete silence and it was awkward silence y'all so right then I'm feeling kind of like, uh, where am I? Uh, this is kind of awkward, but okay. I'm just gonna keep finishing up her hair. So we're finishing, we're finishing. I tell her to go upstairs, go look at it. 
Um, and she comes downstairs and she's like, I like it. I like it. She was like, it's just going to take some getting used to it, but I like it. And I was like, okay, you sure? Everything's fine? She was like, yeah. She was like, I like it. I was like, okay. So then, um, the guy is just, well, I should tell y'all, while she's upstairs looking at her hair, the guy, like we're in her dining kitchen area doing her hair, but her floor plan is like an open floor plan, so you can see from the living room to the dining room to the kitchen. But the guy was standing in the kitchen while she's upstairs, I'm downstairs, like putting my stuff together or whatever. And you know how you can kind of like feel somebody watching you, but you don't want to turn and look their way? So that's what it felt like the guy was doing. So right now I'm like, really like, okay. Uh, can she hurry up? Cause I'm ready to go. <laughs> so um, she comes back downstairs and he tried to talk to her again. She shut him down and uh, he went back to the room. Um, he didn't tell me hello um, or nothing. It was just like almost as if I didn't exist or I don't know. The vibe felt totally off. So I was like, okay, so we get done, we do a transaction and she's telling me um, what she wanted her next hairstyle to be. She's like, when I call you again, I'm gonna, I think I wanna get to like these bob braids and I'll show y'all the picture of the bob braids that she said she wanted. And she's like, I think I want a picture of these bob braids. So I was like, okay, cool. So, um, so she made her next appointment and everything. So then, I get home and y'all it took me so long to do her hair when it generally does not take me long it takes me generally about four four and a half hours why did it take me almost six hours going back and forth with her I was already like beyond um so I get home that next day y'all I woke up to a text message on my phone saying um, you know what? On second thought, I hate my hair. I don't like it. It looks cheap and stiff and it doesn't look exactly like it, um, like the lady did it in the video. And I want it exactly like the lady did it in the video. I wanted to say, B, uh, well, you need to go to the lady in the video. Um, but I was, yeah, I had to remain professional. I had to contact my best friend she's an HR so I was trying to figure out how to respond without you know without going off because I'm running my own business so I gotta be professional so you know I, I expressed to her um if you didn't like it why you didn't tell me when I was there I asked you several times I had you go look in the mirror several times um and I I, upon me leaving, you expressed to me, oh, I love my hair. I wake up and you send me this text message. And then she says, y'all, when can you come over here? Oh, I need you to come over here and redo it to, uh, to my liking. Oh, no, 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 no. We not doing that. Mm -mm. I said, I'm sorry, I, I can't, which I was already booked up anyways. I told her it would be a, a while before I'm able to get out there. And I was like, why would she not tell me that? Like while I'm there, it was just so strange. And the guy was already strange. I was already getting weird vibes from him. And y'all like, and just talking to this with y'all, I'm, I'm thinking like, what if? What if it's, they had some something going on and she was trying to get me over there? Like, I'm not going to say, but what if they was on some type of sex trafficking stuff? And, you know, that, yeah. Like, it was really weird, y'all, y'all. It was that weird. Um, and I, I, I usually keep mace all of that on me just in case. Um, like I said, and I do send my location or whatever, but generally my traffic comes from referrals. So, y'all, it was just weird. And when she said the brakes were stiff, and she was like, yeah, and, and they do kind of feel heavy. You told me to add this hair. 
And then after I told her it was going to be a while, she was like, oh, I'll just take them out and do them myself. If you could have did them yourself, you should have did that in the first place. If you were going to be that particular, like if you're that particular, it's best to just do your own hair. I'm particular. I do my own hair. I don't put nobody else through it. So, yeah, y'all. Um... After I had a conversation and I told her, I said, this is why I asked you several times, did you like it so we wouldn't have to go through this? And then she says, oh, yeah, you did. I'm sorry. Make it make sense. Because it ain't. It ain't. So, yeah, like when I said I blocked and deleted her so fast, I'm my contacts. Please don't contact me ever again. So, yeah. Yeah, that was my story. Thank y'all for seeing you watching. <laughs> my story time um yeah and i will catch y'all on the next video and um yeah just to let y'all know you can never be too careful out here with these days people is crazy so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will catch y'all on the next candy hair diary video peace